Incorporating the air combat experience against Mikoyan fighters during the Vietnam War, this iconic aircraft was designed as a carrier-based interceptor for the United States Navy. The Grumman F-14 Tomcat was designed around a very powerful fire control system with long-range missiles, the primary objective being the defense of the entire naval fleet. Later on, the Tomcat was used as a multi-purpose fighter bomber and ended its career in combat missions over Afghanistan and Iraq. It was retired by the United States Navy on September 22, 2006, but continued to be used by Iran, the only export customer of this aircraft. Personally, it's a plane that I fell in love with at first sight and many of us know from the movie The Top Gun, where it became popular. And it's the aircraft that we're going to see in a new video from Aeropedia. Starting from the late 50s, the United States Navy sought an interceptor to defend its carrier battle groups against long-range anti-ship missiles launched from Soviet Union bombers and submarines. This new aircraft would have to have a more powerful radar and longer-range missiles even than those of the F-4 Phantom II to intercept both enemy bombers and missiles at very long distances. The experience in Vietnam against the more agile Mikoyan fighters showed that the Phantom lacked the necessary maneuverability to win in any confrontation. Dogfight. This led to the TFX program which studied new interceptor aircraft. At first, this search was focused on a variant of the F-111, the naval version, the F-111B, but it turned out to be very heavy, difficult to maneuver and unsuitable for aircraft carrier operations. This led to the definitive cancellation of the program in 68 and gave the Navy a free hand for a new design specific to aircraft carriers. The F-14 first flew on December 21, 1970, just 22 months after Grumman obtained the contract. This new plane was smaller, lighter, more maneuverable and used less fuel than the heavy one. F-111, but the same. In the design of the new F-14, some systems designed to equip the original F-11-1B project were used, among them the long-range radar, the Phoenix air-to-air -air combat missiles, and the Pratt Whitney TF-30 engines, which were also used by the A-7 Corsair II. Although the F-14 had been developed as a light alternative to the F-111B, it remained the heaviest and most expensive fighter of its time. The name Tomcat was partially chosen to pay tribute to Admiral Thomas Connolly as the nickname Tomscat or Tomscat since it had been widely used within the program during development to reflect Connolly's involvement and the nickname it was later adapted to an official name. Its new design was innovative. The flat section of the central fuselage between the engines provided additional lift, giving the Tomcat a wing surface 40% larger than the true dimensions of the wing. This allowed it to carry more weapons and fuel. Its variable geometry wings very characteristic of the designs of the 60s. They adjust automatically according to the speed and altitude of the plane, giving it the best possible performance at different altitudes, operational and speeds. The tests of the air intercept missile, 54 Phoenix missile, began in April of 1972. The longest launch of this Phoenix missile was successful against a target at a distance of 200 kilometers in April of 73, the longest range at that time. The Tomcat was conceived, designed and built as a long-range interceptor fighter, large, powerful and heavy, with great capacity to carry weapons and fuel, responsible for defending carrier groups from Soviet bombers and cruise missiles. Its powerful long-range radar was capable of detecting bombers at distances of more than 160 kilometers, tracking 24 targets and attacking six at the same time, something very innovative for this era. It also carried a 20mm rotary cannon for dogfighting, lessons learned in Vietnam, since the plane that replaced the F-4 Phantom II didn't have it and suffered from this. 
It was a design of a supersonic twin-engine two-seater fighter with variable geometry wings. It had a maximum takeoff weight of 33 tons and could operate within a radius of 926 kilometers. Its maximum speed was Mach 2.34 or 2 301 miles per hour and it had 10 attachment points to carry up to 6,600 kilograms of weaponry. Regarding its variable geometry wings, the wing sweep can be varied between 20 and 68 degrees in flight, and even though it can be manually controlled, these automatically change in relation to the Mach number for optimal lift and resistance. When on deck, the wings can be swept back to 75 degrees to overlap with the horizontal stabilizers and save space on board the aircraft carriers. In a test, an F-14 safely flew with a symmetrical wing sweep, as seen in this photo. It was deemed able to land on an aircraft carrier if needed during an emergency. Curiously, it lacks ailerons. Roll control is provided by the spoilers mounted on the wings at low speeds, which are deactivated if the sweep angle exceeds 57 degrees, and the roll then is given by the differential operation of the elevators. Two triangular retractable surfaces. Called glob vanes, they are auxiliary fins that were originally mounted on the front part of the wing, and the flight control system could automatically extend them at high Mach numbers. They were used to generate additional lift ahead of the airplane's center of gravity, thus helping it to compensate for pitch at supersonic speeds. But in the latest models, they were no longer used, as this system added a lot of extra weight. With the end of the Cold War between East and West, the threat of Soviet bombers against aircraft carriers ended, and the role of the Tomcat was limited to escort and reconnaissance flights. It saw its first combat in the United States Navy in August of 1981, when two Tomcats shot down two Libyan Su-22 fighters over the Mediterranean. The F-14 has also served in the Iranian Air Force from 1978 to the present, but from ground-based airfields. These have reportedly shot down 74 Iraqi aircraft in the Iraq-Iran conflict. Along with the 80 aircraft made for Iran, the United States Navy had 556 Tomcats. The first ones were the F-14A, with the already mentioned Pratt Whitney engines, but later versions had the General Electric F-1-10 engines carrying the F-14B designation. In the 90s, with the pending retirement of the Grumman A-6 intruder, it was thought that the Tomcat also had ground attack functions. The F-14D from 1999 was much more advanced, with digital avionics and a new radar, even more powerful. However, only 37 new ones were made, including 18 of the A version, were modified to these. It could carry a lantern system, a capsule with a forward-looking infrared-infrared camera for night operations, and a laser target designator to direct laser-guided bombs. with the new role of close air support, attack and reconnaissance. It was part of the Afghanistan campaign in 2001 and in Operation Iraqi Freedom in the Gulf in 2003. 
However, by the end of the century, the Tomcat's service time was already 30 years and its maintenance was becoming increasingly costly. Compared to newer aircraft like the new carrier-based FA-18 fighter, Thus, during the 90s, it was decided to gradually retire them from service, which culminated in 2006. The role of Fleet Defender was then assumed by the new FA-18E Super Hornet fighter. I hope you enjoyed this video, I'm Marcos and this is Aeropedia, 